What is going on guys? My name is Raspy and welcome back to Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. Now in the last one we entered the spider caves and was able to actually progress through and complete everything. So now I believe we're heading to the last final area and we will be done with this game. This should be the finale. With these additional power cells I should be able to supply the heat shield with enough yep. power to stand up to this lava. But the shield still has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Hey, what about us? Don't you think we could look for a safer route to go, Citadel? Oh, look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. <laughs> he just gave a thumbs up. All right, let's see what we have to do here first. So lava tube. Yeah, there's only two power cells here, which means the last few power cells will be a part of a part of. Um, let's see. Oh, we missed. We missed. We missed. We missed. I can't miss these. I think this one is a little easier to go through. Oh, the scout flies. Yeah, hold up. Let's let's head back because it is actually a little easier to go on to these, and I don't want to miss these uh, eggs. I know we'll probably blow up, and that's probably going to be bad. But you know what? Ow! That audio really really hurt. Um, my ears. Okay. Yeah, so one will be the scout flies, the other one will be to get to the end of the tube. So, we just gotta keep an eye out. This one's actually a lot easier than the, uh, the previous, um, the previous tube, uh, that we went down, lava tube. Um, uh, as you can see, yeah, a lot easier. What we gotta do is, okay, boom, boom, boom. How did I... Bro. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, guys. We are gonna die a little bit here, just because, like I said, I want to get all the eggs, make sure everything we, everything's covered here before we progress, because we've gotten everything in the last area, so we just gotta get everything here. I missed that cooling balloon again. There we go. Oh, there's an egg right there. Look at that. Would have missed those. Two, three. And you can actually, I think you can get the eggs here relatively early, um, compared, comparatively, uh, to... Get the egg! Oh! Okay. We got the egg. Alright, let's just get through now. Because we should have... 37 to 50, so... I think two of them are in boxes, but I'm not too sure. I missed again, bro. And if you hit these, they're a little slower, but it really depends on where you're at, because these don't have the, uh, those little precursor ramp things. Okay, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, baby! That's what we're looking for! Okay. Going this way. This way, this way, one, two, three, four, and five, and boom, that's all the lava tube eggs. Now all we got are these. Shoot the power spheres to open the door. Okay, hold up, let me uh, grab these. Move. Okay, that's all the eggs in the lava tube. I missed that. I am stupid. Okay, and actually right here is where it gets easy because going on these roads right here, you don't actually lose any heat. So, or the shield is okay on these these parts right here because uh, I 
like I said, you don't lose any. Now we gotta keep an eye out for the scout flies. It should be seven. There it is, you got it. Okay, so that's an insta kill. Oh yeah, and this is also a checkpoint as well, as you can see. So that's really cool. <clears throat> you gotta be careful on your way down though. So one more scout fly to get. It's gotta be down the way somewhere. I didn't mean to run into that, but at the same time I kind of did because I was I was paranoid that I missed one, but we'll see. So like I'm paranoid that I'm gonna miss one, and I don't want to miss one, obviously. Oh no! Okay, that one I didn't mean to do. That one I did not mean to do. That was my fault. Sometimes the control on this zoomer is a little crazy at times, but... There- Oh, please! Please! Oh, please! Okay. <laughs> if you ask nicely enough, the game will provide... Oh! Oh, we got it! Was that all the scout flies? We must have got the scout flies. Yeah. Okay, so that- oh. Okay, yep. So that's that, and then all we have to do is we get to the end of this and we're golden. This is actually a lot easier than it needs to be. When you're 100%ing and looking for literally everything, like I said, we're gonna have a lot of deaths here, but look, the Golemaya Citadel is the last place we have, including the, 100, uh, the secret 101st power cell, because uh, we already have that, and I know it's not in the lava too. I run out of eco right there. That is crazy. Hold up. thing I'm done I'm done with this there we go finally jeez dude that took forever all right and boom hey where's old short green and wrinkly this is terrible <clears throat> father is missing I think Gaul and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Dang it. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. That's all good. Uh, yeah, that about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we <laughs> will be. <laughs> Bro's like, all right, I got you. All right, here we are, the final area of the game, Gaul and Maya's Citadel. Now, this area actually really is easy to get power cells, and um. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. 
It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the Dark Eagle silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. All right, nice. So you go right here, boom, instant scout fly. And uh, you can really kind of just choose which way you want to go. I'm going to go left first because I'm left-handed. Um, so <laughs> uh, I figured that would just be... Okay, so these little platforms here are actually quite... Uh, well, let's go this way first before we even decide a platform to... Uh, go on um, but those little platforms I'll show you they're all around here so it shouldn't be too hard to see what they're doing but um, most scout flies as you're gonna see are gonna be right here chilling um, this is gonna be another one of those uh, jump on the eco pad uh, esque um, Got it, Daxter. Don't miss the next launcher! I know. Don't gotta remind me, bro. I got you. Okay. I do want to be careful here because, like I said, there is some eggs to get. And these are relatively easy, especially when you're doing the, the jumping thing. Like, it's, it's pretty easy. Especially if you just... Oh, no, we might miss. We might miss. We might miss. Nope. By the hair of our skin is crazy. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Let's wait till we get around so we can grab another blue eco. Jump. <gasps> oh! Please! Okay. Luckily, we don't have eggs to worry about anymore, so we can just go. One, two, three. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. Ah, oh, we needed blue eco to get right there, that's unfortunate. So if you're fast enough, you can get blue eco to uh, get the rest of the, um, the exeter right there. So that's a really relatively easy section, and this should free, say just this yellow. Who would have yep. thought I'd live to see the day when I needed to be rescued by a boy and his muskrat? <sighs> I'm gonna give Gall and my a little payback for this embarrassment. Then we'll see about cooking up some muskrat soup. Alright, and then when you finish, you can actually just, uh, oh. Actually, I got an idea. Hold up. Yeah, look at that. We saved so much time. There we go. I, I saved so much time. Look at that. I'm so smart, guys. Y'all, y'all don't even know how smart I am. I'm so big brain, it's not even funny. Um, let's head this way. I, I double jumped, but you know it's it's all good. And there's a way to get down there as well. Okay, two. Oh, where am I going? Uh, this way. Oh, yep, scout fly. Yep. I knew it. Okay, yeah. So that's why we wanted to go that way, because there's a scout fly. And now, when you free these guys, what will happen is they will always be shooting here, so you're going to be seeing a lot of the uh, eco beams uh, contracting and doing a bunch of junk. Alright, so like I said, with these, it's relatively simple. Whichever uh, color you jump on, that color will disappear! Okay. 
and boom. All right. Now, like I said, all the power cells here, as you can see, is free the blue sage, free red, yellow, green, and scout fly. And then that'll be all the power cells in the game and all the eggs, and we'll have the secret 101st. Well, I didn't mean for that to happen, to be fair, but now that we're here... Um... Uh, why did he fall? Jack, why did you fall, bro? Okay. <laughs> Please! Okay, see? You gotta be careful when you're doing those because like I said, it's like a it's like a puzzle. Go on my citadel for a last area. You expect it to be really hard, but to be very honest with you guys, it's actually a rather easy area, um, all things considered. Uh, at least in my opinion it is, but who knows? We'll see here in a second. Um so these these platforms actually rotate and you can actually just hang on the edge of these platforms if you really want to um, and just wait for them to re ro rotate the way that you want them to but also it's a little easier to kind of orientate yourself if you're on top of them as well so and plus I'm pretty sure if they're on an area like this I, okay okay first of all that platform was not ready okay So this is why you want to hang on them, but for some reason the game wasn't letting me hang. Uh, it was just like, you know what, no. You're not even going to get near it. Okay, so I gotta wait till this thing gets like as close as possible. Never mind. Oh, oh, platform. Okay, we're good. I was about to be like, no. Um... I was about to be like, you can't do this to me. <laughs> I started this company. Okay, yep, and then these eggs will all come to you because you have the blue eco. Yep, scout fly. And then you gotta be careful here because, uh... As you can see, and it suggests, the game will screw you. Not careful. Now, what we can do is before we even get this guy free, use the blue. So we'll go back through this way. Boom. Great. So you actually get all these at the end of every single little area that you complete, and it's pretty. It's pretty good. It's pretty neat. There we go. That's Blue Sage's power cell. And he's free now. Good work, fellows. Old Samus was right about you. Great piles of precursor metal. That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc. I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below. Uh... Yeah, you do that. We'll, uh, just go find more help. Weirdo! A massive kind of bruise it. Um, actually. Uh, okay. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? Now that wasn't very fair. Oh wait, um, no wait, that's his, uh, his cage. Okay, let's see. And I believe this is just where we were, correct? Yeah, that's just where we were, so we don't gotta worry about that. Um, now. I believe, okay, for this it's scout flyway, and it's always easier to just do this spin jump, um, 
that's what I do at least. Let's see. You gotta be very, very careful with these platforms, because they are very mischievous. before I die, because I knew I was going to die. When you're trying to focus on grabbing eggs, this is a little actually, like, more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, I double jumped. I'm, I'm telling you guys, sometimes the double jump just does not come out. Like, you will double jump. And then, that's why a lot of the times you've probably seen me single jump, and it just hasn't, like, worked or came out or anything, because I'll be like, alright, single jump. Okay. These all should have. We got company, Jack. What? Oh. I wouldn't be worried about it. And we do gotta worry about being focused on the eggs as well. Just ready to go. Our way to oh! Get on my nerves. I hate him so much. Ah! You know what? Oh, I can't leave until he dies. That sucks. Bro! He's literally just running from me! There we go. Finally! Jeez. Made me do that all the way over again, dude. This game is bogus sometimes, I swear. I'm going to break my monitor, I swear. Yeah, once you deal with those, you don't have to worry about them ever again, so that's pretty good. Oh, you can actually run around that eco vent, that's hilarious. this thing to come out at maximum efficiency. Maximum performance, as Tenya Ito would say. Yeah, and you get a lot of your eggs from that part right there, I believe, so this should be Red Sage. Yep. <laughs> you finally come to rescue me. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? <laughs> what are your name? I'm Daxter. He's Jack. He's with me. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. <laughs> You've got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. I'll use my eco power to help open the shield door. <laughs> Let's go climb up those platforms! Yeah, we gotta free Sage first, though. There's, uh, Samos. We gotta free Samos. I'm just gonna make us leave Samos? You can actually leave Samos? is crazy. Nah, I'm helping Kira, bro. She's worth it. Um, where is Samos? It's over that way, so we gotta go back. 
Especially because he's probably got a scout fly over by where he is. Yeah. And plus eggs. See, we aren't done. We are not done. The game wants to trick you into thinking you're done, but you're not. You gotta go back over this way. You gotta go do this. Bro. Oh my gosh. Like I said, sometimes the buttons do not come out. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm only gonna do this punch if... What about free Samos? Oh, Samos is up above. That's how you free Samos. I forgot. He's actually the last one that you save. So we need to find... Um, and there's also eggs on our way up. And the scout fly should be there as well. I forgot about that. Yep. See, 99. I told you, we already got our secret one. So there's 180. We've gotten all the eggs that we can get. So we do need to head back and we need to find that stairway and get on up there. I forgot about that. That's how you save Samos. That's my bad. Okay. So now I'm just misleading y'all. You don't actually use Samus. I was like, there's no way, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Where were those platforms? Right here. Yep. One, one, two. One, two. One, two. Please. Okay. One, two. I don't trust the double jump dude in these ports. I swear I don't. I never do. Uh, they're very, very scary. Um. And then all you gotta do here is wait for it to end like that, and then- OH! Please. Oh my- OH! Okay. Please, okay. Okay, so now with these platforms here, you'll see that they move around up here, and... Our last few eggs should be up here, as well as Samos should be up here, and um, our last scout flies up here as well, which will lead us to the last few power cells that we need, and 100% completion of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, and we will be moving on to Jack 2 afterwards, which is awesome. Um, because now we don't have to collect upon everything that we see in the Dagum game, right? Uh, once you get up here, pretty easy, self-explanatory. You can just go, boom, there's our power cell for collecting that. That's now 100 power cells. Like I said, we got the secret one. We went back for the secret one, which means now we have the required amount to actually uh, get the, the secret ending of the game. But, since we got the secret 100 in first, that's even better. And this should be the last one. Yep. 2,000 of 2,000 eggs and 101 power cells. We have now 100% of the game until we beat the story. That's Good everything. Work, boys. You're real heroes now. I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, right. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You too late, Samos. Once I was as limitless to our ego, I would have the key to creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much Dark Eco will destroy everything we know! Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your fun row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack! Take the 
elevator up and stop that robot. All right, here we go, guys. The final battle. Now, I am probably going to get a little quiet here. This boss isn't actually too difficult, to be honest with you, but... Like I said, this boss isn't too difficult to be honest with you, but we are going to make sure that we grab everything that we need here. And it's actually going to require, I believe, all the eco power. So what he's going to be trying to do here is, as you can see, he's going to be trying to grind that open. And all we have to do is shoot him with the yellow eco. Yeah, we see. So we just shoot him with the yellow eco. See, that destroys their thing, and then what they'll do is, I believe they get angry, where they shoot at you. Eco won't protect you. Yep. Okay, so yeah, you gotta go here, and then what they'll do is they'll blow up right there, and every single time they do that, it's gonna open up this, this thing here further, and, um... What that does, I believe, is it puts in, yeah, monsters. Dark Eco monsters. And they can jump over, you gotta be careful. There we go. Cut off their source of Eco. Yep. Let's see, and you can actually uh, just do that limitlessly. Um. Should I call for backup? There we go. Okay. I think this is the most open that this silo gets, but I'm not too sure. Really got to be careful. comes the eco guys and basically this creates white eco it does exist they must not be allowed to get it white eco that could be the stuff to change me back or might stop that robot hmm. stay fuzzy save the world choices okay fine we'll save the world but do it quickly before i change my mind All right, here we go. Time to save the world. Um, where's our light eco? Oh, there it is. We gotta hurry. And there we go. You just collect one piece of it, and now we're light jack. Do something! There we go. Done. Who 
Well, it looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring him on! We can take him again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! Uh, and that's gonna happen a lot, by the way. And there we go, that's Jack and Daxter. Um, we still have the final cutscene, because obviously we 100% of the game, which will hint to Jack too, but... For now, that's Jack and Daxter. I hope you guys did like this series um, as much as I did. I love this game. Um, and that's the 100% guide for anybody that wants to know. I know there's probably a ton out there, and you could probably go watch ones that are like 10 times better than mine. But, you know, either way, um, that's Christopher Christensen. Ugh! Okay, um, anyway. <laughs> um, uh, that is... Jack and Daxter. Um, we have completed it. That's all the power cells, including the 100, uh, 100 and first secret one, um, because there are a hundred, but not a lot of people know about that 100 and first secret one. Um, and you have to do that after opening the yellow eco vent. But um, either way, that's going to be it for this series. If you guys did like it, um, Please leave a like on the videos, it does help out a lot and lets me know what you guys are liking what I'm putting on as well as hey, in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys thought of Jack and Daxter. Um, is this series I really, really grew up on. Um, uh, I, before there was um, Sonic, it was Jack and Daxter for me. Um, so this is a series that I, I hold really near and dear to my heart that I, I really, really love. Because it's just such a good game in my opinion, I love it. Um, and um, yeah, and hey, if you're new around here and you want more, because we'll be moving on to Jack 2 as of this video, um, make sure to tr uh, subscribe so you don't miss that, because Jack 2 is going to be awesome as well. Um, uh, I probably won't be doing a 100% guide on that, I'm probably just going to be doing more story on that, because most of the eggs that you can get are, like, in the levels, which I will go and look for those and show you guys those off, but as for, um, like, the rest of them, you get them through, like, challenges and stuff around the city and stuff like that, because it's an open world, like, free roam kind of game, um, and I'll explain that a little more when we get into that, but, um, yeah, you don't want to miss that, so you need to subscribe so you don't miss Jack 2, because, uh, we're gonna be moving on to that, and then after we meet Jack 2, we'll be moving on to Jack 3, and that will be all the Jack games covered, um, sadly, because, like I said, love these games, maybe I'll play them in a later, uh, in a future date, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, that, and if you want, uh, Nier Automata, because I'm playing through that right now, experiencing it, and it's, it's very awesome right now, um, from what I'm experiencing, I, I really like it, as well as, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm almost done, um, recording, I know it's been a long time, I've just been focused more on these other games than I have Red Dead and been putting on a Black Bear, Italia Ryza 2, I haven't played that in a while, I'm gonna get back to playing it, um, and, yeah, that's it from me. I'll let these uh, credits roll out and I'll let uh, that new cutscene play out, um, or that ending cutscene play out, and that'll be it. I'll see you guys in chat too. Goodbye.
Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have a hundred power cells. It's so beautiful. I 